Hello guys, this is Better Mix again, and today I'm gonna show you a little trick uh, we found out uh, like a week ago that uh, we're trying to make uh, a custom button for uh, for the game for one of the games we're building, and uh, we found out that it's actually really easy to uh, customize the the default buttons in in the hex pixel. So here's the trick. It's very simple. So I got a project here. It's just a Excuse me, a little uh, simple project just created this uh, uh, the way I've been showing you in my other videos. Um, and uh, just what I have is uh, a simple button here. Let me show you what I created. This, I created this in Photoshop, just very simple stuff. So, what we need is uh, a button with the three states we want. So, this is the uh, standard state or the normal state when nothing is happening to the button, which is when, what you're going to see first. Then we have the mouse over state, and then we have the click state. Uh, we need that. We need that. Just that to make the custom button. Uh, and 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 as you can see, you can make whatever you want here. I just made this button real quickly to show you this. But this can be whatever you want. Uh, the only thing you have to consider is the, the sizes. Uh, all three states will have have to be the same size, and. Uh, and just do it in one sprite like this. So one mine is 128 by 64. So I got 128 from here, 128, 128. So once you have that, just make it a PNG. And uh, I have here my data. That's the button. Uh, so now, just to create the button first, just of course you want you want to create a, a variable, right? Let's see, private variable, and let's say this is the, this is the start button. It's going to be alpha type flx button, of course. Now we go here and say when it create the button queue. And uh, once you do that, just a matter of uh, creating the button the same way you've been creating buttons. If you haven't, it's simple. Start button. It's going to be a new FLX button. And we need, uh, first we need the uh, XY uh, coordinates that the button's going to be. So let's just say just put it on uh, in X in uh, let's just say zero Y it's gonna be uh, also zero I'm gonna center this uh, with, uh, with a little bit of formatting and next we need the the actual text is gonna be on the text so let's just put start for now and then we need the action that this button is gonna perform like go to your next scene or whatever so let's just say start game Right, so I got a typo here. Just get rid of this guy. So next, next we're gonna just uh, add a little bit of uh, a little bit of formatting. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Just put the button in the center on. Yeah, I'm well, gonna center the button. So let's just FLXG with. Uh, divided by two, so we got the center, but we're gonna subtract from that the size of the button, the actual button, so it's gonna be width divided by two also. So let's do the same thing for the height, for xg dot uh, height, height divided by two. Minus the FLX G height of the actual button divided by two. So let's just make the font a little bit smaller so you can see all the everything that's on that line. So this is X just half of the screen, half of the button. It's gonna put it exactly in the middle. So let me just make the text bigger again because you guys wanna see the code, right? It's a coding tutorial. 
So now we just add the button to the stage. Uh, just standard stuff. So fine hub has not begun yet. So let's just try to compile this, see what we got. So start game is not defined yet because I haven't defined start game. So let's just say public. It's gonna be private function start game. It's not gonna return anything, it's just gonna be void. And for now, it's just gonna trace, not gonna do anything. Let's say you pushed, you pushed start button. So it's not gonna do anything right now, it's just gonna print that. So let's just uh, compile that. See what we got. Okay, you got a button there, which is not actually center for some reason. And uh, once you click it, it just says you push the button. You can just uh, change the color here. To white, so you can see that. Why is the button not being centered? Oh, I know. I know what's happening. Okay, so because of this stuff, just remove that. Okay, yeah, I uh, was stupidly doing that. Uh, so, okay, uh, now let's try that. So now it's kind of in the center and the background didn't change for some reason. Oh, if it's not an echo, we need to change this. Okay, it's white now. You can see if I you push the button, that's already standard stuff, right? But uh, you want to move the button, right? Uh, let's center the damn button because uh, let's just say start button. You know what? Let me just go to the void in first, then we center the button because it's gonna change the size one once we add the image. Just gonna change the size so let's do that first look so what to sh to add the image we just need to call the load image uh, the load graphic function or method on the uh, on the button actually and it's that actually it's that easy to do it uh, you don't have to declare states or whatever you just need to load the graphic there it's pretty simple <laughs> actually so we need to just say assets and this call start button dot png png then uh, we need to, to say if this is going to be animated no and then uh, is this um, sorry the first one was is this going to be uh, dynamic I think no animated yeah animated is false and this is gonna be reversible false and what we need to set is the width and the height next so it's 28 by 64 not the whole height not the whole uh, width of the button but one little button and just put false here for the uh, unique and that's it let's try that see how it goes and look at that we have our button there if i roll over i have my rollover state if i click on it if i click on it you can see there's the other state there 
which is cool. So there, now we have both uh, the label and the image there. If you need that for something, you can keep that. But in this case, uh, we don't need it. So let's just put uh, null here and see if that works. Always check your changes, right? So once that we don't have that, then we can just center start x is going to be equal to xg width of the uh, of the uh, screen minus our own width start button width divided by two right so same thing for uh, y flex g height sorry height divided by two uh, minus our own height health not health height divided by two that should put the button straight on the center so yeah start button start doesn't exist to start button here so like that so there we go exactly in the center so now you have you can do whatever you want with buttons you can have uh, anything anything in your buttons and this will work exactly because uh, the, the default buttons in, in has pixel are, are not that pretty uh, so you might want to customize that for to, for your game and that's how you can do it it's pretty simple and then you get all the got all the inherit all the properties of the of the same button so it's just you just skinning the button uh, so that's it I hope you uh, like this uh, short tip about uh, customizing a button and I'll see you in, in another tutorial. Thank you.